And this is tea. <laughs> Uh, Honest to you. Should we make it a tiny bit brighter? You're like, what pours? <laughs> Never heard of that emotion. Are we still waiting? We're rolling. We're rolling. Oh, we're rolling? We are full We've on. Been rolling. For how long and why? <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. Today I have a very special guest. This is Kate Plus Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I'm kidding. Chad Kroger in the house. Baby. Oh, I love you because I washed my hair to do this. It, that took effort. Mm -hmm. I was not down. I've never done a husband reveal. This is my work husband. Okay, yeah. We've been in love for a long time. We are in love. It's crazy. How did we meet? Tell them our love story. Okay, actually, this is amazing. We met through Here for the Tea, this big YouTuber. Probably one of the biggest, like, gossip. She's a gossip page. Here yeah. for the Tea, and she subscribed to my channel. She followed me on Instagram and messaged me, and we started talking, and then I feel like, no, but you plucked me. Like, we met. Yeah, I plucked her from the universe, and I was like, yo, this girl does not think like everybody else. Like, I feel like everyone in fashion dresses the same. Like, they're programmed to all look the same. And she doesn't, like, operate like that. And I just kept thinking to myself, she's a badass. She's cool. I like how she dresses. I like how she thinks. I love that. And I wanted to work with you the first moment I met you. I'm excited for today's <laughs> video, Real Talk, because we kiki off camera all the time. And we, like, roast brands. Always. We have, we have very strong opinions. And, like, they don't always line up. But I thought like we should just do this on camera. Go after some of the biggest items out right now. Yeah. Because so I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts. What are you thinking? We gotta talk about them. Okay, we have to talk about Let's them. Let's get into it. Also, I want to say I really love what you're wearing. Do you love what I'm yeah. wearing? It's like that subtle like... Tom little... Brown. Oh, work. Right? I love the pop of like jewelry. I Can mean, we it... see it? Wait. But can't you? That's the question. <laughs> and that's the, that's the moment. You know, it's like you kind of focus in, you're like, can you this see is it? How, so this is how we actually talk. This is really what we do, and we decided we have to get together and do this video. I want to talk about what I talked about in my recent video of trends that I just can't get into, and that is the tabbies, the Margiela tabbies. So, I mean, you really had to start with a bang, didn't you? <laughs> I, I have to start with the tabbies because they are gaining popularity and i just i got things to say but i i, I want to hear before even saying that she knew i love them and so she just she woke up this morning and chose violence <laughs> he I, loves the tabs i do love the tabs because he likes to be up on things that you're not up on how do I put this? Tabbies make you feel everything. Like you look at them and you think to yourself, like, are these disgusting? Why do I like them? Do I hate them because people are telling me to hate them? Are they fashion forward? They kind of look uncomfortable. But like, maybe I could get into it. Like, What, what kind of socks do you wear with the tabby? They actually have specially made ones. So you have to buy like a collection of socks. Maybe, but you could also technically go barefoot. See, like the tabbies are based on a Japanese footwear design that like wasn't developed by Margiela. I'll be honest, for years I didn't buy a pair because I kept asking myself, do I like them because I actually like them or do I like them because the public is telling me not to? Ooh. Or That's why I'm so fascinated by them is because they're atypical, but they are admittedly ugly, but are they actually ugly? I think they're a safety hazard because they really do look uncannily like cow hooves. Correct? They do. So there's a very cruel thing that people do. Late night, they do this. They go to barns and they tip cows. I feel like if I was in a pair of tabbies, I, I, someone might mistake me. Honestly, I would be at risk. I would, I would be at risk. I have the airbag tabbies. Oh, you have tabbies? I do have a pair. What? Did you buy the socks? No, I didn't. Oh, you're like athletes footing I'm dipping way. my toe in the water, He's... pun intended. No, babe. No. We don't always agree. We really don't always That's agree. That's what marriage is. We do it for the kids. We do it for the kids. We do it for you. We are your fashion mother and father. Baby, we're your fashion parents. <laughs> we you don't know it yet, but you were adopted. <laughs> 23 and me reveal. <laughs> oh my god. You are 26% Italian. 26% Italian, 23 and me. I thought it was Turkish. Nope. Baby, we're Paisan. Under this white exterior, I am Italian. Translucent. 
off-white eggshell. <laughs> okay. Next. Your fashion parents love you. We love you. We do. And even if we disagree, we're gonna keep it together for you. So don't ever feel. Like We've never heard we're... of divorce. We don't no, know that no, emotion. We don't know her. No. Okay. Not for us. Next. <laughs> I want to talk about these. The Balenciaga square toe, like just Balenciaga square toe in general. Hmm. You know what? You know how I feel about these? Bottega, I feel like, are the leaders. I was going to say. In the square toe. Okay, so Bottega really came out with a bang. And they came out with some like aquatic bird fin looking shoe. Balenciaga really said, I see your aquatic bird and I raise you a spatula. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to laugh. I'm going to raise you a spatula. <laughs> they really said, like, let me look at your homework if it don't copy. <laughs> Just change it up a little so it doesn't look like we're copying, you know? This sort of trend in fashion of, like, trying to be anti-fashion to be fashionable is kind of getting played out. Correct. I know fashion because I'm anti-fashion. To me, that doesn't really mean anything. That just looks like lazy design. It's just been going on for too long. From Balenciaga. Yeah. For too long. But the, the, no. That's a no. Light okay. it on fire. Light it on fire. Smother it in its sleep. Push it off a cliff. We can we, can we, can we talk about... I love Loewe. Loewe, in my opinion, is classic. It is luxurious. I love Loewe. Yeah, beautiful. Love. Actually, there's a top I'm waiting for from Matches. Puzzle bag, iconic, always will be. And then I was looking on Essence and I kept thinking to myself, you know, like, I like to browse, right? And accidentally fill your card up and then press buy. But then I saw this and I thought to myself, you know. Baby shark do 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 do. <laughs> How much is it? Baby, she's like a nice 2K. What? For a whale bum back. It's like borderline horrific. I just. You can't even drown it because baby, it'll swim. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is. Is there really a market for this? This is the tabby consumer. Yes. The wrong I mean, tabbies. I'm a tabby consumer and you could not <laughs> put me in the same room as this. But you're like a teetering tabby. I'm a teetering tabby? You're a teetering like tabby. Like old ankle? <laughs> kind of a segue with this though, because I feel like the only other brand that like off top of my mind that does really like kitschy, interesting things like this would be Mosquito. Mm -hmm. You know, like I love me some Jeremy Scott. Yeah. And you just look at like, like really? I did buy a sweatsuit, a Mosquito sweatsuit with the with, bear on with, it. with the bear. But then I did try and sell it. <laughs> and it never sold. I still have it. I wonder why. When Jeremy Scott first started doing this, it was like very popular. Everybody wanted it. This was like a cute, kitschy take on like individual style. You know, I think it's played out. This to me is like even worse than Logomania. And I do not like really? it. Really? Yeah. And this to me is just like, I need a commercial product to like. It is sell. a commercial product for sure. Yeah. This is like. But it's this still is, very Mosquito. Yeah. A lot of what you like, a lot of, a lot of what you like is like stuff that like dictates tomorrow's fashion, right? And it can't always, we can't always be dictating tomorrow's fashion. Sometimes it's just cute and wearable. Would you buy this in hindsight? I wouldn't would, buy- Would you buy this now? I wouldn't buy this now, no. I wouldn't so, buy it, but there's a lot of things I love in fashion that I still wouldn't buy. Like, you know, it has to I mean, work fair, with my- I mean, fair, fair, true, I'll give you that. There's so many things I love that I But like, buy. if I saw someone wearing it and styled it well, like I could see it being very cute. Okay, okay, next. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. okay. So one of the biggest trends this year is flight suits. I love flight suits. I mean, like, I'm a Rick head through and through, so I love- Rick Owens, he's talking about. Rick Owens. I, I just Gami don't- said, I give up. Is that really bad to say? <laughs> Probably. It's canceled. It's it's riding really high, and I feel like it just looks uncomfortable. It looks like a tabby. She's riding high down there. It's re they're really high. That's like it looks mad uncomfortable. It does. Yeah. How do you go to the bathroom? This is like you get naked to you go get pee. naked yeah. to go pee. It just like gives me like sausage casing. Yeah. No, it's not good. Like this, this is gonna be like you're gonna buy that. You're gonna look at that. You're gonna no. Nobody's no. buying it. No, I don't think that. No. 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 Okay. That was a mistake. Next, I want to talk about these Gucci sunglasses. Okay, which ones? I don't know what they're supposed to look like, man. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's a choice. I would rather scrape out my retinas. <laughs> they're over a thousand That's bucks. expensive, even for a designer sunglass. Yeah. No. Mm, no. No. Not, she's not the moment. No. She tried. She's dead to me. <laughs> we cut her out of the well. She's not invited to our family dinner. We said open casket. <laughs> oh 
Oh, we have a problem. Oh, we have the Balenciaga track sandals. Should we talk about that? Yeah, this? we do. Okay. 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 Really? So, okay. Balenciaga came out with the Triple S, which was deemed like the ugliest sneaker on the planet, and they f took off. Everyone like lived a thousand lives. And I, when you say everyone. When everyone but me. Not, and me. You weren't? I wasn't a big fan. No. Oh. I never bought them. I... I tried them on. That makes me so happy. Oh, thank you. I thought you would have been like All the early it? adopter. No, that. I actually was like, I saw it beforehand that I felt like the early adopters only liked it because it was cool to like it. Like, like the I, tabbies. Yeah, no, tabbies are different. Okay. Tabbies are like, uh, like iconic. Okay. But just the the Balenciaga Triple S clown shoe energy and in a not fashionable way, but other people are going to disagree. Accurate. And then the track shoes came out. The track shoes were more at my speed. I would say like a little closer to my aesthetic. Mm. Kind of give you like tech wear energy. Not, not Tastes more. like Dime Attack. Yeah, so the track shoes then come out and I, the track shoes are a little more my speed. Like the sneaker is a little bit more kind of tech wear inspired. I'm like kind of getting into it, but I'm not enough to like make the purchase because they're still really expensive for a sneaker. I'm like, whatever. Then they're carrying the silhouette into the sandal and I'm just sitting here like. Exactly. Exactly. Balenciaga is just like, it's like a guy that just keeps treating me badly and I keep going back. Like, I just want you to love me and you just keep shitting on me. What the hell are these? That was good. That was a good moment. The thing is like, oh, stop trying me. Okay, first of all, this is a keen shoe. This is a vegan parent, okay, who takes their child to wooden structure playgrounds on a Saturday. No Snore. single use plastics in the home. Fruit and nuts are your snacks. We go on nature walks, we go on nature hikes. Like Keens. to find yourself. What? Do you don't hikes to find yourself? Do you ever do that? No? Just me? You do do that? It's a cane. Mountain biking energy, which is actually cool. We're gonna be into the next season of shoes by the time we finish this analogy. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of art versus like anti-fashion, Peter Doe. I do have to put Peter Doe on this list because, okay. I, I, Careful. I know. No, I, I really like a lot of the pieces that I've seen from Peter Doe, but. I love Peter. Uh, come on. Wait. So I've been saying I've wanted like a travel bag that kind of had the same size as like a key ball, but I didn't want like the traditional Louis Vuitton or like Goyard bag. I wanted something different. And then she goes and like sends it to me in my DMs. Um, and I knew she was kind of like mocking it a little bit, um, but I, I'm into it. It's the, it's the vibe. I get it. Like, I get it. I get it. This is like Olsen Twins oversized bag on methamphetamine. I, I mean, listen. We're parents. You have to be, you have to set a good example well, for, for our children. Yeah. I just want to talk about Crocs also. Stop trying to make Crocs happen. I know what you're trying to do. It's very tabby teetering. That's, I'm coining this. Tabby, TM. we know what you're trying to do. Just stop. Like, do you know what Croc says? Do you know what Croc says to me immediately? I give up. I'm just gonna cry in my room and eat an entire pint of ice cream and then regret it the next day and then I'm gonna start a cleanse and then you never actually commit to the cleanse and then it creates the cycle and then you're stuck wearing them to the grocery store. That's one Croc. <laughs> I think another Croc aesthetic is that like, we're trying to make it fashion. So many brands are collaborating with Perox, which is like upsets me. It's not gonna happen. It's the obvious. New silhouettes. I've said this in my videos before. We are going to look back on this era of fashion. We are. Yeah. And it's going to be the biggest joke of an era because so much of fashion today is just trying so hard to be different and almost be like Anthony said, anti-fashion. It's almost like counter individuality. The brands that are trying to separate themselves are becoming too anti-fashion. No, but like, like Dion Lee, who I've talked about, and Peter Doe, they're doing it right. Like I they're, think so they're too. individual. They're they have their cool. own. They have yeah. their own aesthetic. But I it's not like try hard. Yeah, it's not try hard. Yeah. Should we talk about Magda Butram? I mean, if you want to, it's full of tea. I actually really like a lot of Magda Butram's um, blazers, but I just wondered if you have something to say about it. 
I do like those blazers. A lot of the blazers that we're seeing right now are like boxy and oversized, but I think the more like higher fashion, more cutting edge cuts are like what Magda Boutram is doing. So I guess we're not roasting this at all. We're just like actually- Do you know, it's just like a little bit of an observation. I've noticed we've gone away from like skinnier pants and gone to more like wider silhouettes and up top, we're going from wider to now more cinched. Yeah. But you're seeing like the opposite. Yeah. Because you got to balance. You have to balance, you baby. You have to balance. And what do we talk about here? Balance. <laughs> Just like you and me, the good and the bad. Okay, so I already know that she's gonna feel some type of way about this, but let's talk about Rick Owens and Montclair. Mm. Two brands I both individually love, but they came together for, I think, a very interesting outerwear collection. Thoughts, feelings, opinions? I feel like Rick Owens has just gone so far off the deep end for me that I, I can't get down with Rick Owens these days. And that Montclair collab, I just felt like that's a, a fire hazard, first of all, flammable. Doesn't it look like it could, it, it looks, looks like it could erupt. I'm, and you know what, it's like protect me from the world. It's almost like my own bubble boy type energy. Like it's so big and puffy, like kind of protect me. I love it. I think it's fun. I got the moon boots too. Everyone, of course you did. Of course they did. Squeegee kid energy, sleeping bag. I, I love say, a sleeping bag realness. Like imagine you're just out there and you could just like knock out at any moment and you're just protected because you're in a little sleep sleeping bag. I'm like, I'm into the like spaceman duvet energy. Okay, okay. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video with Anthony. Let me know if you'd like to see him again. I mean. If you don't, we're just gonna get divorced. I'm kidding, I would never divorce you. I would never leave you, but this was fun. I would. I wanna do it again. Let, let us know in the comments if you I wanna do fun. it again too. We do this for you. We I don't care. wanna be an absentee dad, you know? <laughs> like, I wanna be there for my kids. <laughs> we wanna be the parents you need and you deserve. We love you. And we really love you. Okay, I'll teach you by how. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, babes. All right, babes, we're off.